The urea cycle, also known as the ornithine cycle, is a cycle of biochemical reactions that produces urea NH2-2CO from ammonia NH3. This cycle occurs in ureotelic organisms. The urea cycle converts highly toxic ammonia to urea for excretion. This cycle was the first metabolic cycle to be discovered Hans Krebs and Kurt Henselite, 1932, five years before the discovery of the TCA cycle. The urea cycle takes place primarily in the liver and, to a lesser extent, in the kidneys. Function Amino acid catabolism results in waste ammonia. All animals need a way to excrete this product. Most aquatic organisms, or aminotelic organisms, excrete ammonia without converting it. Ammonia is toxic, but upon excretion from aquatic species, it is diluted by the water outside the organism. Organisms that cannot easily and safely remove nitrogen as ammonia convert it to a less toxic substance such as urea or uric acid. The urea cycle mainly occurs in the liver. The urea produced by the liver is then released into the bloodstream where it travels to the kidneys and is ultimately excreted in urine. In species including birds and most insects, the ammonia is converted into uric acid or its urate salt, which is excreted in solid form. Reactions The entire process converts two amino groups, one from NH4 plus and one from aspartate, and a carbon atom from HCO3 minus, to the relatively non-toxic excretion product urea at the cost of four high energy phosphate bonds 3 ATP hydrolyzed to 2 ADP and 1 AMP. The conversion from ammonia to urea happens in five main steps. The first is needed for ammonia to enter the cycle and the following four are all a part of the cycle itself. To enter the cycle, ammonia is converted to carbamoyl phosphate. The urea cycle consists of four enzymatic reactions, one mitochondrial and three cytosolic. The reactions of the urea cycle 1-L-ornithine 2-carbamoyl phosphate 3-L-citrulline 4-argininosuccinate 5-fumarate 6-L-arginine 7-urea L-asp L-A-S-P-A-R-T-A-T-E-C-P-S 1-carbamoyl phosphate synthetase IOTC ornithine transcarbamoylase argininosuccinate synthetase argininosuccinate liasarge 1-arginase 1. First reaction, entering the urea cycle Before the urea cycle begins ammonia is converted to carbamoyl phosphate. The reaction is catalyzed by carbamoyl phosphate synthetase I and requires the use of two ATP molecules. The carbamoyl phosphate then enters the urea cycle. <laughs> Steps of the urea cycle 1. Carbamoyl phosphate is converted to citrulline. With catalysis by ornithine transcarbamoylase, the carbamoyl phosphate group is donated to ornithine and releases a phosphate group. 2. A condensation reaction occurs between the amino group of aspartate and the carbonyl group of citrulline to form argininosuccinate. This reaction is ATP dependent and is catalyzed by argininosuccinate synthetase. 3. Argininosuccinate undergoes cleavage by argininosuccinase to form arginine and fumarate. 4. Arginine is cleaved by arginase to form urea and ornithine. The ornithine is then transported back to the mitochondria to begin the urea cycle again. Topic: <laughs> Overall reaction equation. In the first reaction, NH4 plus plus HCO3 minus is equivalent to NH3 plus CO2 plus H2O. Thus, the overall equation of the urea cycle is NH3 plus CO2 plus aspartate plus 3 ATP plus 2 H2O urea plus fumarate plus 2 ADP plus 2 pi plus AMP plus PPI since fumarate is obtained by removing NH3 from aspartate by means of reactions 3 and 4, and PPI plus H2O2 pi, the equation can be simplified as follows. 
2 NH3 plus CO2 plus 3 ATP plus H2O urea plus 2 ADP plus 4 pi plus amp. Note that reactions related to the urea cycle also cause the production of 2 NADH, so the overall reaction releases slightly more energy than it consumes. The NADH is produced in two ways. One NADH molecule is produced by the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase in the conversion of glutamate to ammonium and alpha ketoglutarate. Glutamate is the non-toxic carrier of amine groups. This provides the ammonium ion used in the initial synthesis of carbamoyl phosphate. The fumarate released in the cytosol is hydrated to malate by cytosolic fumarase. This malate is then oxidized to oxaloacetate by cytosolic malate dehydrogenase, generating a reduced NADH in the cytosol. Oxaloacetate is one of the keto acids preferred by transaminases, and so will be recycled to aspartate, maintaining the flow of nitrogen into the urea cycle. We can summarize this by combining the reactions. CO2 plus glutamate plus aspartate plus 3 ATP plus 2 Namibian dollars plus plus 3 H2O urea plus alpha ketoglutarate plus oxaloacetate plus 2 ADP plus 2 pi plus AMP plus PPI plus 2 NOD the 2 NADH produced can provide energy for the formation of 5 ATP cytosolic NADH provides 2.5 ATP with the malate aspartate shuttle in human liver cell a net production of two high-energy phosphate bond for the urea cycle. However, if gluconeogenesis is underway in the cytosol, the latter reducing equivalent is used to drive the reversal of the GAPDH step instead of generating ATP. The fate of oxaloacetate is either to produce aspartate via transamination or to be converted to phosphoenolpyruvate, which is a substrate for gluconeogenesis. Regulation Topic <inaudible> N-acetylglutamic acid The synthesis of carbamoyl phosphate and the urea cycle are dependent on the presence of N-acetylglutamic acid NACLU, which allosterically activates CPS1. NACLU is an obligate activator of carbamoyl phosphate synthetase. Synthesis of NACLU by N-acetylglutamate synthase is stimulated by both ARG, allosteric stimulator of NAGS, and GLU, a product in the transamination reactions and one of NAGS's substrates, both of which are elevated when free amino acids are elevated. So GLU not only is a substrate for NAGS but also serves as an activator for the urea cycle. Substrate concentrations The remaining enzymes of the cycle are controlled by the concentrations of their substrates. Thus, inherited deficiencies in cycle enzymes other than ARG1 do not result in significant decreases in urea production if any cycle enzyme is entirely missing, death occurs shortly after birth. Rather, the deficient enzyme's substrate builds up, increasing the rate of the deficient reaction to normal. The anomalous substrate buildup is not without cost, however. The substrate concentrations become elevated all the way back up the cycle to NH4+, resulting in hyperaminemia elevated NH4+, p. Although the root cause of NH4 plus toxicity is not completely understood, a high NH4 plus puts an enormous strain on the NH4 plus clearing system, especially in the brain. Symptoms of urea cycle enzyme deficiencies include intellectual disability and lethargy. This clearing system involves GLUD1 and GLUL, which decrease the 2 oxoglutarate and GLU pools. The brain is most sensitive to the depletion of these pools. Depletion of 2OG decreases the rate of TCAC, whereas GLU is both a neurotransmitter and a precursor to GABA, another neurotransmitter. 1 p. 734 Link with the citric acid cycle The urea cycle and the citric acid cycle are independent cycles but are linked. One of the nitrogens in the urea cycle is obtained from the transamination of oxaloacetate to aspartate. The fumarate that is produced in step 3 is also an intermediate in the citric acid cycle and is returned to that cycle. Topic. 
Urea cycle disorders Genetic defects in the enzymes involved in the cycle can occur. Mutations lead to deficiencies of the various enzymes and transporters involved in the urea cycle and cause urea cycle disorders. If individuals with a defect in any of the enzymes used in the cycle ingest amino acids beyond what is necessary for the minimum daily requirements the ammonia that is produced will not be able to be converted to urea. These individuals can experience hyperaminemia or the buildup of a cycle intermediate. Types N-acetylglutamate synthase deficiency Carbamoyl phosphate synthetase deficiency Ornithine transcarbamoylase deficiency Citrullinemia deficiency of arginosuchinic acid synthase Argininosuchinic aciduria deficiency of arginosuchinic acid lyase Argininemia deficiency of arginase Hyperonithinemia, hyperaminemia, homocitrullinuria syndrome deficiency of the mitochondrial ornithine transporter Most urea cycle disorders are associated with hyperaminemia, however argininemia and some forms of argininosuchinic aciduria do not present with elevated ammonia. <laughs> <laughs> Additional images <laughs>